Right, uh, hi everyone. I thought I, um, I'll try something a bit different for a change. Uh, I'm up in my room currently, and I'm, you know, you don't want to see in my room, it is a tip. Um, but I thought I'd do, I don't know how long this video is, but I thought I'd do a bit of a, uh, a bit of an in-depth video. So I've currently just got the 3D printer going, so um, if anyone's interested, like I have got someone's project, and I'm sure she knows who she is, I've got it fixed, I've finally got it done, I had to buy some new parts and do a lot of uh, meddling with it. I was going to go for a resin printer but luckily I've saved my money before doing that and figured out what the problem is. It's doing alright, I've done a few um, tests, ignore the mess, this is just bits for the 3D printer. But I did a few tests to make sure and it's done alright. Um, that was half an hour for the free. Uh, it's so right. So how do I describe it? Because there's going to be a few people on here who has no idea what 3D printing is or knows a little bit of it, but not too much. I'm new to it. Um, I've been doing it about a year. I've had a lot of hiccups uh, throughout the year. Still trying to get used to it. And this, at the minute, from my um, perspective, isn't. It's a really good um, lay, is all this, and I'll explain in detail what I mean by that. So the reasons why I had a lot of trouble with this 3D printer, and it's a good brand, It's I would definitely um, suggest if someone wanted to get one, it was only 250 quid, uh, then plus you got you get your filament uh, spool, um, and I made a little jig here to make sure it doesn't, because it, with it being wrapped in there, when it gets to the end, sometimes coils round if that makes sense and sometimes it also gets stuck around this um can't think of it right now but you know um the bit that uh, helps it elevate um so yeah so what i um had to do today was um i ordered some springs brand new ones uh, the old ones are in this bag and you'll think well springs you know this is so it um levels the bed these are the new ones at the minute uh, and I'll explain what the difference is between this and this one yes colors different but apart from that so with your normal springs and I'm holding a phone to it it's very difficult to hold I don't know if you can see at the top it's well when the springs made it's um, a piece of rod a machine on a jig spins it round and it cuts off at each end the problem with that is, especially with a 3D printer, you have to buy some specific springs that I've found out um, that basically sort of, you, it, your spring gets made and then it caps off the top so it sort of sits flush, if that makes sense, which I can't show because they're now in there. But if I can, and excuse me, I am new to phones, but um, I think with the zoom feature, if you can see, that is sort of, well, we'll wait for it to get back again. Um, it sort of sits flush at the bottom instead of it being a solid um, round rod um, some people are not going to get that um, but basically long story short um, they are far more better for a few quid than these and apparently I don't have to keep levelling my bed after every so often I will have to eventually with the amount of you know taking off the um, magnetic bed plate you know sometimes pull it off you're going to change the um and things will um, loosen but these ones have um they're a lot more stronger i found that whereas these as you can see they are a lot more spaced out i don't know what the the word is for that um but these were very enough basically long story short and here i am talking four minutes in depth about some springs um well yeah that's basically what's happened uh, I guess the next stage is the other trouble I've just had as well as I can show over here I forgot to tighten one of the um, focus focus one of the uh, nozzles and excuse my hands I am really I have got dry hands and everything um, the filament started um, leaking through halfway through a print which I have got just about here um, so the, it started leaking all over the place so I had to rechange the nozzle 
and that was that's there literally I'm not even joking that's half an hour down the drain um, and that's the first layer but like I say I'm really happy with it because I've cleaned the bed I you know I know you're not meant to have moisture get inside a uh, filament because it messes it all up I found out white is better than trans uh, transparent so my transparent ones up there um, and yeah and this is literally I don't know how long this is this uh, this print here is about seven hours and the idea of that is as you've probably seen from the uh, other ring is um, I'm now on to the second one and the idea is and this is um, two halves that um, you know go together which I've had to design myself so this is about 14 hours in total just to make the next ring um, as the first one at the minute is um, ready to be moulded and like I say I did say my room is a mess because it is more of a workshop than anything but yeah uh, and I've added the border walls um, for when I pour silicon on that to make a mould of a fiberglass one I uh, I finished the gun um, bit of painting but that's the gun now done uh, try to look around is there anything else oh and I might as well while I'm here um, and this is as I said on project Dalek this cabinet contains all my expensive stuff it is a bit dusty um, but there's the other um, eye rings a CD that was made for me with all the um, reference images of the Imperial Daleks done by a friend in America. Um, a lovely lady who did that for free for me. The um, Your Lamp in Question for um, uh, Ellie for her cabinet. So I am on Wii Just, Just hang in there. Like, I am like, even though I'm not posting much, I am on Wii Artardis. I'm just finding difficulties at the minute. Um, the bigger lamp, which I'll be taking a mould of, and then hopefully, um, if Dean's still interested, when I make his TARDIS, I'll be able to then have a proper um, lampshade. Old bits from the Imperial Dalek, like leftover discs, bits of moulds and stuff like that, um, Daleks. I'm not much of a collector, I will be honest. People would think I've got more YouTube stuff. Here I am doing a vlog of just showing off anything of mine. And then other rubbish. Um, you know. Can't even see what's in there. But old stuff. That Dalek there is quite special to me. Because that was given to me by uh, my dad. Um, and yeah. Just random stuff. I've got loads of shit under the bed. Um, like I say. I just, I just build. I don't really do anything anymore and I don't play with them either they're just on show they're just what I've had for years um, vinyl stickers in the back that I bought from America um, another one there um, that's a good one these two I do like these two um, so if I did a transparent TARDIS door and a light could shine through so if I can do that and same for the St John ambulance I might do that next year um, just my jumper that I paid online, uh, a sort of, it's not a dead on replica, but it is the um, Sylvester McCoy fin. Um, what else is there really to show? There isn't really much in this house. Skateboard stuff. Um, I'm not a skater, but I, I've just always had um, an interest in stickers, and this was meant to be a big, massive board and everything like that to, um, to uh, dedicate to posters outside oh I can even show the garden why not uh, and that's the last time the um, TARDIS I believe is going out it will be rebuilt in the garden because we've got a few more scenes you can see right over there I can zoom in that's uh, about what's that there that's about 200 quid and that's for the uh, the mold that I did for the Imperial Dalek uh, down at the bottom, the area where I uh, built it, um, there it is still. There's a new paradigm down at the bottom. Um, so yeah, we've got a bit more room again. The garden's not the best. We've got a lot more uh, filming-wise to do. When that TARDIS is gone and that Dalek, we'll have even more room for the um, well, the next five Daleks that I'm going to be having. Hopefully. I've had words in the past, originally they were going to be um, 
two of the white Daleks, which are going to be in red and blue, um, go into Smarthorn in the uh, little courtyard, uh, as I have uh, connections through the school and um, through a friend, which I can't name. Um, still don't know if they'd be interested, not with the white Daleks anymore, but hopefully the Paradigm ones, as we're going to need a lot of space, as I'm going to have at least, hopefully, eight of these Daleks, and as you can see, I'm not going to be able to fit, we only just fitted three Daleks, um, so yeah, um, if they can go in storage or on show places, places like uh, Castleford Library, um, for them on show, that would be good as well, because then people can find out about my um, production work, but yeah, um, that's roughly, um, like I say, ignore the mess, I have cleaned up. Everything's not that great at the minute um, because of my uh, the way I work. I do have a bed. I do have a bed, I will say that. And it is a bit dark because I literally have... You can't even see. I have painted my entire room all black. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and anyone who's interested... Like I say, I don't play with them. I just have them as collection. That one, though. Um, the white and gold, as everyone knows, they're my favourite. Um... That cost me 130 quid, and that's a, if I can get it down, I don't want to fall. Um, this is a solid cast, and that's the why the, the funny shape, if anyone's interested, which I'm probably boring people. But this is why I love these Daleks, they're so much different, and as I say, it is a solid cast. Um, doesn't move apart from the head, which is on a magnet, if I can get that, yeah. And if I do get one, in fact, I'll, I'll bring that down and I'll show. If anyone's bored of this, I am sorry. Um, but this is my life, um, as I am a Dalek nerd. Um, which Dalek? How about, how about that one? A 60s Dalek. Which is your uh, typical Dalek design, I will be honest. Um, but this is what I mean. This is what I'm on about with attention to detail. I'm just sitting back down again, sorry. So, this is the Dalek I have in the yard, and this is your more typical Dalek. So you can see body proportions are a lot different, and this is what it's like with having OCD and, um, uh, what else is it? You know, when you're obsessed with attention to detail, yeah, I could just build one of these and paint it white, but I wanted to, you know, I wanted it, that's better actually, uh, yeah. I wanted to always have one of them Daleks, as I've always been a fan of them, and they don't actually have a sink plunger attached, they all have mechanical parts specially made, and whereas these Daleks, you know, I do like the 60s, but they're, they're not my favourite, these ones are my favourite, I've grown to love the Paradigms over time, um, but like I say, I'm not much of a collector, I just, now and again, and this was made by a, a props person, so... You know, 130 quid I think is well worth the money um, for because you can't get the um, figures in this design. I'm hoping they're going to do them eventually, as a lot of people have asked. And all they did, literally, they got these ones, changed it a few, uh, a few things, and all they did was just repaint them white and gold. And that's not good enough. I want something like that, uh, a lot cheaper, of course, probably 30 quid, not 130. Um, but yeah without going off and as if I'm not playing but you know what I mean so yeah um, and the 3d print is still going strong at this minute and that is 28 minutes and it's now on to uh, ah here's something interesting then if you're still watching and I haven't bored you right now it's creating um, support material as that is a void and basically what that means is um, because this is going to be like a, um, a jigsaw piece, well you need the opposite end to be, um, a negative, basically, for that to fit in. So, you, with 3D printing, you can't build just on nothing, because it would just, it, it don't work like that, you know, you've got to be able to build on something. So, at the minute, that's just created, uh, support material, or, I think it's called rafting, uh, in the technical term. Um, unless I'm wrong about that, I'm sure there'll be someone shaking their head at the minute going, no, that's not the way it is. Um, like I say, I am new to all this, but yeah. This is what I mean, with 3D printing it's great because it is, it's 
uh, it's great for um, creating precise parts. The only issue is it takes a really long time. You have to recalibrate, so that's why if I do go quiet for a long time, you then know the reasons. Reason saying that as well, coming back to this, some, the way they did this, someone created um, a file, which I do actually have. And I guess I've got another story to tell you now. Um, I'll get it out of the fin as well. This was done from a good friend of mine um, about a year ago. And the guy who told me how to get into 3D printing. And he did this for free. Of course it came as a kit. And it is a bit dusty. It's, I'm sitting down again. So this is that one. Whereas this is a resin cast. So someone had to create the moulds. And before people say 130 quid, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. But in order, the reason why because that guy needed 130 it was because he's had to make the moulds um, as these bits do come out in sections if I can remember I think the dome yeah I can bear with me the dome does come off um, all parts are separate uh, like that so you know he had to make a mould he had to polish up the 3D print as you can see there's all these lines in it whereas on that one they're in he had to clean it all up well first he had to print the bloody thing um that and all these bumps you know everything like that and this is a hollow one as you can see and that's where it is so in order to create that he had to create uh, use the file that was created by someone to create a 3d model then he had to print it which probably took, uh, I think it, the guy said when he did uh, this one, it originally took him six hours for the body and for detailing parts, maybe three hours. Um, yeah, it is time consuming. So the reason why this was 130, at the end of the day, resin's not a cheap material or polyester, if that. Um, create silicon moulds of each section and then, yeah, painting it doing it up and then packaging and everything so it is worth the money um, ideally if it was a toy one they're cheaper because they're they're molded in a factory as you can see with the seam line so it's one half and one half and the machine creates it so that's basically what it is um, so yeah that's why I explained so this was fine and this was all done for free which is a bit I did say if he wanted the money but he was alright with it and this was a first tester um, to get me into 3D printing and since then I have, uh, you would not believe the amount of fins I've built um, and fins that have still not been used and are hidden away in drawers well I've got some on here um, one of the uh, uh, like the uh, neck rings there is one solid piece uh, and that was about six hours um, but yeah oh and bumps just remembered bumps um, for the Dalek which I changed my mind and found another alternative way um, but yeah that's um, roughly where I am like I say please excuse the mess if I did have a, uh, a place it would be a lot cleaner than this I do I would definitely assure you that but yeah I just thought I'd do and it's nearly 18 minutes just to um, uh, talk about myself just just thought I'd do a little something a little different um, get people to know me a little more um, um, but yeah and that's roughly where I am at the minute I am still getting equipment sorted so that I can actually then record myself and edit and stuff like that um, instead of holding a phone constantly like this I enjoyed my day yesterday uh, I'm sounding like I did um, what's the word like my last um, post when going in detail but I did enjoy yesterday as we had a big day filming and looking forward to doing um, more scenes but yeah I just thought I'd show some uh, in-depth stuff of my 3D printer of, and why that took so long and where I am currently show my uh, room off I guess a bit because there was literally nothing else and I was waiting for it to do something different to explain I'll probably keep you posted throughout the um, hours to show the different stages of this 3D printer um, and the parts that I'm making. But yeah, 
I'll, um, it's now getting to 20 minutes. I'll have to uh, cut this short soon. Um, but yeah, that's roughly where I am. Um, I, whoever's watched this video, if you made it to this far, wow, you really have some dedication to listening to me and my monotone voice. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for listening and everything. And like I say, there's no script behind this. I'm literally com coming up at the top of my uh, head with all this. Um, and I just wanted to record about the 3D printer and showing that. But yeah, um, I've got loads to do, like I say, I've got loads in the works. But I hope you um, enjoyed this uh, in-depth video uh, about me. Soon I will be, like I say, showing my face a bit more. I could do it with a phone, I have flipped it before. But the thing is, it's, it's better if I could just flip the camera on myself and then talk to the camera instead of guessing where I'm looking. Um, so this should be happening all soon. I do. I will show you that it will be soon. More work to do with um, Doctor Who and the um, upcoming special that I'm doing for a friend. That will be um, said soon. And yeah, I'll um, yeah I'll leave it here because this phone's nearly dying. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll talk to you in future. Bye.